This is such a cool, interesting tag, and I've never seen anything like it. Really a lot of care being put into these despite their price point, which you'll love to see. Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some bottoms. No, not, not, get your mind out of the gutter, we're not taking a look at butts. There are other channels for that, probably, maybe not on YouTube, but there, I could point you to some, some very good sites. I Just hit me up, hit me up. No, we are taking a look at bottoms as in pants. And this is a pair of jeans from the brand Fiorucci. And if you are not familiar with them, I would not blame you, but they are a really, really historic Italian brand. Like back in the day, Fiorucci and Gucci were like equals. But obviously as time went on, things didn't really pan out that way. Things didn't stay that way. And they really fell off the map for a long time. So in like the, I think it was the seventies, maybe into the eighties, they were one of the biggest jeans brands on the planet. And that was really their calling card, but they really fell out of the limelight. They ceased to exist for some time, but within the past few years, they have been brought back to life. So Fiorucci now exists once again, and they're actually making what I would consider to be some really big moves because as their menswear designer, they have brought in Daniel Fletcher. And if you're not familiar with him either, I also wouldn't blame you, but I think he's one of the most interesting young designers out there right now. He was the one bright spot on the crappy Netflix reality show, uh, Making the, no wait, that's the Amazon, Making the Cut is the Heidi Klum Amazon show. Uh, Next in fashion was the Netflix show with the guy from Queer Eye. And Daniel Fletcher was clearly miles ahead of almost anyone else on that show. And he's carried at like Essence, stores like that. And his pieces are great. So I'm so happy that Fiorucci recognized him and brought him in to do the menswear. And he's been doing some really, really cool stuff with them. Really nice, colorful, interesting kind of retro. And of course, jeans are a big, big part of the whole brand from their heritage, you know? So there's some really interesting things about this brand. First of all, everything is made in Italy, which is amazing, the quality is there. But compared to other Italian luxury brands, this stuff is cheap. Like I think this pair of jeans was 40 bucks or something at a sale on their website. So I would highly suggest checking it out. But that is more than enough warm up here. Let's get into it and take a look at this pair of jeans. But first, I've looked into it and a very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. It's completely free. Just press that button and you will not regret it. Thank you so much. So there you have them. As you can see, a really nice, classic, skinny pair of like deep blue jeans, like classic blue, blue jeans. This is what you think of, in my opinion. But before we get too deep, we've got to take a look at the retail tag that comes with this piece. So this tag, it's like a plastic tag. It's debossed. You can, everything goes inwards, the writing. Well, some comes out actually. And it's like a neon yellow green, kind of like a yellow Gatorade color to it. Really, really cool tag here. You get a nice little Fiorucci hollow at the top there with the angel motif that they're very much known for. I'm trying to see if anything changes as you move it around. I don't think it does, but you've got a number there that may be the model number. And if that's the case, that's really good to see. And then here you've got an embossed logo. So these letters come out of the tag and take a look at that. That's the logo print, very kind of thick sans lettering. Power brand, that's very kind of retro there. Safety jeans, tested quality. Take a look at all those different typefaces, how they're kind of like safety jeans is slightly smaller, centered under the power brain and Fiorucci. Tested quality, even smaller than that. All that kind of stuff is always important to look at. Under that, we've got a little white sticker here and we've got the model name. So these are the Terry jeans, 100% cotton, men's, women, jeans. Size, which is 30, 30 waist. And that, I guess, is the model number MMLPF18 Terry. I'm not sure, that's a model name in there. So we'll have to keep an eye on this kind of stuff, like the number that was up there, this number here. I'm not quite sure where everything stands yet. And on the back of that, this is, I think, a deboss, like it goes inwards or maybe. No, I think it goes inwards. And again, you've got Fiorucci with stars on either end. That's another very famous motif for the brand. And then these kind of old school looking country boys. 
and once again, safety jeans with this little kind of emblem around them. So I just think this is such a cool, interesting tag and I've never seen anything like it. So I appreciate that. And these are attached with this slightly glossy black string here right through one of these belt loops and that's that. You'll also see if we look at the inside of the jeans, we've got a kind of cardstock gray tag that goes over the sides of them. So here we are at the back of the jeans. So this is what's kind of facing outwards. We've got the model, which is Terry, description classic skinny, size 30, color raw. Like I said, that's just like your classic blue jean, right? And just that logo print there. And these are actually stitched in to hold them in with these gray stitches, pretty much the identical same color as the cardstock itself. And on the inside of the jeans, when it folds over, it's the exact same information and those same stitches. And if we look inside the jeans, we've got this brand tag right at the back of the waistline here. And that is an embroidered tag, a slightly glossy black. And in white, you have that Fiorucci logo with the stars on either end, a little registered mark there. And once again, the safety jeans emblem. And in all caps under that, we've got Made in Italy. As I said, for the price, this being a pair of jeans made in Italy, their prices are incredible. So I love to see that. And on the outside of the jeans at the back, of course, we have our leather patch here. It may be pleather actually feeling it now. It doesn't quite feel like real leather to me, but that's totally okay. So it's a nice red here and debossed in there. We've got that same thing that we had on that uh, retail tag. The logo, the country boys, the safety jeans emblem, and all caps, made in Italy. And that is stitched down, not on the sides, as you can see, you can kind of see through there, but it's stitched down in red across the top and the bottom. And those are really nice, clean lines to that stitching. All right, now let's take a look at the care tags that are inside these pants. So these would be on your left side if you were wearing the jeans and they're kind of sewn into the left pocket here. And these are just like slightly textured, thin, white, smooth, plasticky tags and printed on there in black, you've got Fiorucci print. And this one is um, sans serif. So none of the little kind of extra things on the ends of the letters, just very straightforward. Then we get our fabrication. So it's actually 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So you get a little bit of stretch there. Once again, the model name and color, Terry Jeans Raw. And then slightly bolder, you get Made in Italy. This one is a loop tag, as you can see. And on the other side of the fold, we get into our washing instructions. So those are all caps, black, center justified. And it starts off in English and then French, and it goes back and forth between the two, it looks like. Then you get some washing symbols there at the bottom, and then a little bit of space, and that's it for that first tag. The next tag is similar, but it has the different brand print there with the serif to it. And this one, it looks like, is in Russian, actually, and it's all that same info. And this is not a loop tab, just not, not a loop tag, just singular. Nothing on the back of that. Same deal here in one of the Asian languages, maybe Korean. I don't, I'm not even going to take a chance. Back of that one's blank. And finally, one last tag here. Color may transfer, so avoid contact with light, colored furniture, clothing, car seats, handbags, etc. And then the same thing in French. And the back of that's blank. And that's it for those care tags. You can see how they're stitched right into that seam there in a kind of like gold bronze color. And if you follow that along to the waistline here, and go a bit over, we get the size tag there. So that's an embroidered loop tag. Let me just zoom in and focus up a little bit. So that's an embroidered loop tag, black, rather white on black, 30, so 30 inch waist. And the back of that is blank. So now I think it's finally time to take a look at some of the unique elements of this piece. So first let's take a look at the buttons here. So it's like a nice copper colored, slightly distressed button, very much kind of the color of a penny. And it's got that Fiorucci logo going over in an arc and then the two stars underneath it. And this is button up rather than zip up. So we've got one, two, three, four buttons there underneath that main one. And those also have the Fiorucci brand print and the stars. Even the little studs here have the Fiorucci logo and the stars in them. So really a lot of care being put into these despite their price point, which you'll love to see. And then attached to that little mini extra pocket there, we get a little embroidered tag again with that logo in it, 
this time in red with the stars underneath. So that's really cool. And we also have that logo on the back of that tag. Overall though, the style is nice and classic, that deep blue to the color and these kind of bronze copper colored contrast stitching. Really, really nice classic effect for a pair of jeans. This is just, you know, your standard go-to. So I love to see it. And now if we look to the back of the jeans, outside of that leather pleather tag there, the one other kind of element of note is the stitching on these back pockets here, I would say. So it's these kind of arcing half circles that go over each other. And it's almost like an old school Western kind of vibe, I would say. And you know, hey, I'm down. I'm good with it. So now that we've checked all of that out, let's try these babies on to see how they feel and see how they fit. Okay, so first let's talk about the fit. So, hmm, where should I begin here? Well, first off, keep in mind they are quite long, but that's generally the case with any more kind of expensive fashion, high fashion type jeans or pants because you know, they're made for models and models are tall and skinny. So these are really made for someone who's like six feet tall or more and I am 5'10". So, you know, I'm normal height, but in the fashion world, I'm short. So I just kind of have to live with that. So for me, it's generally easier to cuff them because for me, I would usually go for a 30 or 31 length. And I would say that these fall somewhere between 32, maybe even 33 length. So cuffing, them is definitely, definitely pretty necessary for me, but that's a look that I don't mind at all. I'm totally good with that, but it's something you should definitely keep in mind. The other thing I would say about the fit is that they are on the tighter side. I mean, of course they are, they're skinny jeans, but I'm talking about the waist because they're listed as a size 30 waist, but I measured them, they're more like a 29 and a half. So, if you kind of really ride the edge there of how tight your jeans are, then keep that in mind because they are actually slightly tighter around the waist than the tagged size. Other than that, the fit, perfect skinny jeans fit, no complaints whatsoever. Um, the pockets, I will say, they're normal, normal sized pockets, the side pockets, but I would, would have liked them to be just a little bit deeper. You know, we're dudes, we need to stuff a lot of stuff in those pockets, you know, so I kind of like to have room for phone, keys, maybe a wallet, whatever else I have. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit tricky in these, but they're not like women's jeans small either or anything. So, you know, I'll live with it. As for the feel, they're absolutely perfect. I love that little bit of spandex in there because uh, I like having a bit of stretch in my jeans. I don't like them to be too stiff. These feel very, very breathable, even though they're tight, they stretch well, and they don't they already feel pretty worn in which is what i love out of a pair of jeans i don't like stiff unworn jeans i love them when they actually move to, with you and fit to your body so in my mind these are perfect in that sense so for the price point and the quality of construction like i'm super happy with these and i would highly highly suggest that you guys go take a look at their stuff because Daniel Fletcher is going to be doing some really cool stuff with them. I have a lot of faith in that. So definite success and thumbs up from me. So that is how you tell the difference between real and fake Fiorucci clothing. Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.